Hi guys, welcome to Back in the Game. I'm Office Bloke Daz. I'm Office Bloke Mike. I'm Office Bloke Aiden. Right guys, we've got a two week bumper package to cover. We've not been on for two weeks, didn't we? We've not covered it for I can't remember two while. hours ago, so. <laughs> I know, <laughs> that's the problem, just trying to remember the games. It's, uh, yeah. I went to the game this weekend, I don't remember. Went to Dortmund in the week, don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> it's all just been in big blur. It's not a good yeah. start when you're actually there. But uh, no, the, the Dortmund game, we missed the bus, okay, coming yeah. home. Um, the bus that takes you from the ground to the airport, we yeah. missed it, didn't we? Because yeah, he's got on the phone going, it's this way, it's this way, it's this way. Why didn't, why didn't you get it on your phone and tell us where it was? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> and then all of a sudden he went, it's half an hour the other way. Ooh. I went, we're getting a taxi. And then I fell asleep in the taxi. Yeah. And I had five missed calls from the club. Yeah. Saying, are you coming to the bus or not? Yeah, where are you? And I went, oh, shit. Got from the game and went, I've already spoke to him. Like yeah. good. Surprised they didn't say anything to us when we actually got to the airport. They didn't airport, say anything, though. did they? We were the, 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 yeah. To be fair, we were the first ones at the airport. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Do you reckon they were waiting for us like for a while? Or? Probably. I bet the other supporters were like, he's there, are you already? Jeez, we were sat on the bus for half an hour waiting for him. <laughs> no one said anything. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, back, back to the Premier League. and uh, I think the big, there were two big results this weekend that's just gone that stood out. And uh, it was, um, I'm looking up here because that's where the screen is with the, uh, with the results on. One's Brighton. Yeah. Um, so let's talk about that, Brighton Chelsea. Two on goals um, for, for Chelsea again. Yeah. Two Chelsea on but goals. Well worthy of it anyway, Brighton sort of sort of highlights of it and I thought they played alright and they have been a decent team, haven't they? They played us yeah. the week before and I think they had at, at City and I think they had fifty two percent of the possession. Really? Yeah. Wow. That was is the only time that I you think have I don't, I don't remember. Surely. I don't remember anyone even having forty percent possession yeah. at City. That's some going on. So yeah, so yeah. They're very, very good. I think when we played them um, we beat them 3-1. Yeah, I wasn't there, I was, I was away. Uh, we beat them 3-1 and I think that they were done. I yeah. think they should have got more out of the game than that from what I've seen on the highlight reel. Yeah. Um, I, I think they deserve more. But how many times have we said that the football inside, yeah. they, do, they do play nice football, keep the ball yeah. well and all that's been missing over the last couple of seasons is like a top, top striker will get a lot and of goals. Still got one. And it's, but, uh, it's difficult to attract a really top player down to Brighton, maybe because they're not like classed as a, no. as a, you know, championship team, you know, like a, a yeah. Champions League team or even Europa League team, yeah. really, are they? You know, sort of on the periphery of that. But so maybe that's one of the reasons why they can't attract yeah. someone. Maybe it's going through the youth system. Maybe they do you might think have to, uh, do you think we'll keep older Trossard at the end of the season? Ooh, good shout, lad, because he's think, again he's doing really well again. He's not got yeah. a few goals in again, isn't yeah. he? He looks a, he looks, he looks a really good league. player. Yeah, he, he looks does. like he could slot into like a yeah. top four side. Yeah. Quite easily. Mm. Maybe first choice, I don't know, but he definitely fit into a top side, I think. Mm. There's going to be too many clubs after him, I think, for him to stay. There'll be too many. Maybe, yeah. Too many. yeah. 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 What do you reckon you get for him? 50 mil. I was going to say that much. much. I think, yeah, think so. Yeah, wow. I think it's 50 million. Wow. Pound, I'm yeah. not sure what age he is. Is he about 24? 24, 24 no, is it? Yeah, yeah maybe, get, maybe 40 to 50 then if he's yeah. age. I think he's so. age. I think he's a 50 million pound player. What uh, nationality is he? Is Belgian. He? Is he Belgian? Mm. Okay. I'm assuming he plays the national side. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Yeah. I've yeah. not noticed recently, but uh, we can't get the team because Kevin De Bruyne. <laughs> ah, <laughs> we won't go and see then, will he? I mean, what's the point? <laughs> no, he does. He does get in the team. He's uh, but you've got look, you look at Belgium's team. I mean, some of the players have got Tillemans, De Bruyne, then all the uh, the, the, even the back four, um, strong. Yeah, they don't seem just don't seem to turn up at tournaments, do they? Yeah, it's, 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 it's like Holland, it's Holland were the same. Like, yeah, it's like City in the Champions League. They're City always favourites, but yeah, they're they're superstar it. players. But then, yeah. it's like Belgium, when anyway, it comes to the final yeah. push, it's sort of like you just think so slightly missing. Which a lot of the Dutch teams have been like over the years. Yeah, they've had loads of so oh, brilliant teams, but fantastic I think it's teams. been pretty well known that you know some of the Harley yeah, and camp and mm. bottlers isn't mm. sort of like quite what it should be yeah. for the top team. But you look at teams like Italy. They're not in the World Cup this year, but you know they won the Euro. Should be in the World Cup. Yeah, um, I mean, we'll, we'll we'll cover all this when we do the World Cup well, special because that's it's coming up soon. Not far off, yeah. then, was it? Yeah, we'll do the World Cup special so. in a couple of weeks. Yeah, and then sort of like cover that and build up to the to the World Cup. Yeah, obviously on the other channel on the office blogs, we're going to do a watch along for the USA England game. Aren't Absol we? Absolutely, yeah, yeah. yeah. that's yeah. going to be great. You can watch me watch really looking forward to that. See how, see how angry. Oh. I <laughs> <laughs> I would be able to say some of the words that I normally say. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, that was, I mean, for me, Brighton well deserved. And I, I just think they deserved as well. The homecoming yeah. for Potter to come, come there. And I just think Chelsea, for me, are just not. I think Potter's out of his depth in that, in that team. I do. Well, I think I said it at the start, I wasn't yeah. sure whether he could manage a team like that, full of mm. players like that. Yeah. Or whether he's just that, just that little bit below, whether they'd have the confidence or whether they'd have the. Mm. Uh, I don't know. Because he's not really won anything, has he? So, 
some sometimes you just need a manager that's in a big team like that that's won things and yeah. say, listen, there's my trophies. Yeah. Yeah. But he can't do that, can he? No, and I just I just um, don't think he's got the experience that is required at someone like Chelsea. And I think Bowley is one of them guys who won't sit around and wait. He'll want results this season. He wants he wants a trophy this season. Of course, absolutely. Yeah, well, that's yeah. why Tuchel went, isn't it? Yeah, you know, yeah. He, I think he went too premature. So do I. Mm. Absolutely. Yeah. I think it's. I think he was their man. I think he was their man. I think he was having a problem with maybe one or two of the players, and he wanted different signings maybe to Bowley. Mm. I think Bowley Bowley Champions League. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. No. yeah exactly. No. Yeah. It's In crazy. Six months. Isn't it? Yeah. Crazy. Mm. I think Bowley was going along. There was a lot of talk of Ronaldo going there, yeah. which I think would have been a terrible move for him anyway. Still talks about it. Yeah. And I think Tuchel was right about it. And yeah. Maybe that was a bit of friction there. That that's just know, a PR stunt for me. Yeah. Oh, absolutely! I can't yeah. agree more. Yeah. He's, you know, he's, he's not good enough for the Premier League now. He's too old. No, no. He's Premier been a great player. Prove it. Prove, proven it. You know, just, yeah. but now he mm. saw again. We'll probably get onto it anyway shortly. You know, yeah. at the weekend, yeah. he had chances, but it's just not the yeah. player he was. Just Premier League is so so difficult yeah. to, to to influence nowadays for any player. I mean, yeah. you see, you see people like you know, you like so Jaden Sancho, who's come into the Premier League. How difficult it is for a change from what he's used to to what he's come into. And it's you know it's he's he's finding the, the pace of it and the whole time on the ball everything else going around it. Sancho was a, was an amazing player at Dortmund. Absolutely, and he's, yeah, come yeah. To, he's come to United and he's thinking he probably struggles to get in the team. Let's yeah. say. Yeah, well, he's you know, at the moment. Yeah, yeah he's not yeah. even because at the yeah. weekend he just drops at the weekend yeah, as well. Super, he's super so, fast. The Premier League. You know, absolutely. Uh, you see it's Sterling. You see Sterling who went from City. Went from City for being seeing loads of the ball. Gone to Chelsea. Don't get any of the ball. Yeah. I'm not on it. He's not. He don't, he don't get it. Look at a player. Was he relying on the better players at City? Because we all we all know if you have got a great sign, you have got your know, three, four, five top yeah. class players in there. They can make average yeah. players look yeah. good. Yeah. And, is he in, in that bracket? I, still, I don't know. Is. I mean, he missed so many chances. But we'll go, we'll get onto that when we cover the Watson. Yeah. Don't know. The other shot result was uh, Liverpool Leeds. I think. Um, of course it was. Yeah. Yeah. Don't I mean, know. Leeds right down. You know, especially Anfield. I don't think they lost. I can't remember last time Liverpool lost. First, Anfield. first time Van Dijk ever lost to Anfield in a Premier League match. Yeah, so no way. Yeah, really? Yeah. Wow. Has he been three or four seasons? Yeah. yeah so at least, like at that. least three, yeah. maybe yeah. four. Yeah. So that's over hundred games. Wow. You signed in January, so it's probably like three and a half or something. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. But that's a hell of a win. But the, the goal, I mean, Leeds, fair play to them, they deserved it. Jesse Marsh. I thought Jesse Marsh was yeah. up for the sack. So did I. Yeah. I, thought, I, thought, I thought it'd be long gone by now. I thought, I yeah, think it'd be there. Surprise, he's still there, to be yeah. honest. Mm. But he's still there hanging in yeah. and, you know, deserved the goals, as, uh, the points as well, I think, yeah. by all yeah. accounts. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, I mean, we've been saying about Liverpool, what's wrong there? So it's definitely. They should not be getting right. beat. I mean, last season, they, they won't be getting beat by Leeds at home like that. It's not that many Forest chances. The Forest the week before. Forest the week before as well. Week, yeah, because yeah. obviously we missed yeah. that one as well, didn't we? So. It's, uh, but, but with Liverpool, I watched I watched the game against Leeds, and Trent Alexander Arnold just didn't give a shit. Right, he yeah. just did not give a shit about what he was doing or what he was there for. If it was if I was his captain, I'd have probably I'd have probably come to fist fight with him on the, on the, yeah. on the pitch. <laughs> I'd have probably gone over and just lamped him one of them. What are you doing? There's definitely you know? something wrong with him because you can just tell by his body language. Mm. You really can't. It's just sort of I don't know. Mm. He's just not with it at all. He's just, he, he's at, his whole attitude towards the game has just changed big yeah. time. He never smiles. You know, as if like he's, he's got this same face he keeps, and I don't know if that's something he's trying to work on to be a part of his like uh, persona or whatever you want to portray. Yeah. But he's just not. He's not doing it. He's not. It's not working for him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's, yeah. Gone, he's gone from being world class to League Two. Yeah. He's, he's not Premier League player at the moment. I, I still think going saying. forward he is. No, he's not he's Premier League player. Probably, defensively, he's probably like League One Championship standard. Yeah. On, honestly, yeah. like he probably is. But um, he's coming to that Liverpool side so used to winning, and now he's starting to lose. Now he's dropped down the mm. table. He's, he's so he's used to attacking, so used yeah, to scoring exactly. a lot of goals, and yeah, now he's now he's got to maybe defend, do a bit more defensively. Yeah. You know, maybe he's been found out. People, because everyone knows he's not as good defending as there are a lot a lot of other defenders at right back better than him going forward. Over the last couple of years, to be fair, he's been great. Yeah. You know, his crosses and his delivery and stuff, scored a few goals, but he just doesn't seem to have anything at the moment. To be, to be a world class player, you've got to be consistent. And you look at yeah. people like Cal Walker, Trippier, uh, they're not people of old, they're not Gary Reece Neville's James, or Rhys yeah. James at the moment, yeah, they're not superb players. Consistent, very, very consistent. Six and a half, seven out of ten every week. Every single week, yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And Trent at the moment, to me, he's, he's a four. Yeah. Every week, four, consistently four. Consistently shit. Yeah, but you won't be surprised if he, next week he scores like a world. Oh, he will kick. be. He will yeah, be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, but you can't. That's not going to get you through games. That's but it. I can tell you, fifty players that can do that week in, week out. Yeah. Like free, but they don't do anything else. Absolutely. And you can't yeah. have luxury players like that come into the team and be that. You know, have, have the, uh, the 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 benefit of being a luxury player like that. 
And the uh, I mean, I'm sure we'll, hopefully we'll do one uh, under the podcast for the uh, World Cup. But that's going to be interesting to see if he's picked in the squad as well. Well, Reece James know, injured now, isn't he? So he is. You pick people on form, or do you pick? Yeah. You know, you can't have everything. But what the right back have we got? That's uh, probably Cam Walker, Walker injured as well, isn't he? Yeah, but he's going to be fit for the World Cup. Is he definitely going to be trippier? Fit? I, I'd probably yeah. take Trippier yeah. I think he's doing pretty well he's going to play the left yeah. back as well he's, 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 he's fairly Trippier will be going he, he, he can change back as well can't yeah. Trippier so yeah. I think yeah. he's yeah. fairly versatile he's 100% so there I'd, I'd nail on yeah. getting him in the yeah. squad without yeah. doubt Carl Walker would be nailed on yeah. right back if he's yeah. fit without a doubt uh, oh, depending if he, even if he plays a back three Carl Walker's yeah. there on the right of the back three yeah. he, as well so uh, he'd be nailed on I think there whatever happens I just don't see Trent could do with Reese James being there because I'd the really rate it I do as well I mean if you have a back three and you've got him and Reese James and Kyle Walker on the right I mean that's so strong it really is yeah so maybe down on his territory to English yeah yeah yeah, I think I think he plays for England mm. under like under twenty ones and right. stuff. Could be a shout. Not sure whether he'll get a look in, but no, no, no but he'll be good there. To, to you just wonder whether he's going to go. For, I mean, I know we've strayed onto England a bit here, but it's, we were talking about Alexander Arnold. Just wonder whether he'll stick with him. Do you know? Do you not? No, I don't think he'll even say. But do you think he'll stick with players like Sterling because of how well he does for England? But he's done nothing this season. Exactly. Do you, yeah, do, does a, he get there yeah. for the World Cup and yeah. start? Oh, he'll start. He'll start for England. He's got a few players like that, though, haven't he? He's got some problem. Dyer. Well, not Kieran Dyer, what's his name? Eric. Uh, Eric Dyer. Eric Dyer, yeah. He's starting him. Yeah, probably, yeah. And you know, they're so. going on about, uh, one of the pundits the other day said, the best centre-half in the, in the country at the moment, English centre-half in the country, is uh, Tchaikovsky. And I'm like, you're mad. John Stones. Yeah. John Stones is mad. I know, yeah. yeah. And so is Ben White. Yeah. Definitely. You, know, you look yeah. at the top two teams in the Premier League, Ben White, John Stones. There's yeah, your answer. I would say for Kyle Tomori. So yeah, for Kyle Tomori, you know, people like that, you know, he's yeah, playing at Inter yeah. yeah, Milan, is it? Yeah, yeah, I'm not convinced by him because again, it's Italy in the, the, the just won the Euros, yeah. on mate. Mm. <clears throat> Who else? Italy. Yeah, yeah, no, but uh, mm. yeah, I'm just I'm not convinced by no, him. No, I know, I know. It's the same with Small, yeah. and a lot of people talk up Small for Roma, but again, yeah, he's I'm not, not taking him either. So no, no, no chance, no chance. What does Italy winning the Euros have to do with Kyle Tomori? Nothing. The Italian league. I'm saying about the Italians. Oh right. He's saying it's only in Italy, but you know. But the other one as well, Newcastle, 4 0, Villa. Yeah, um, decent result again. Villa, they've got no manager yet. Have Unai Emery. Oh, no. Unai Emery, yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, but I think he was, was in the stands or something. Or I, think, I don't think he was in the dugout. He wasn't in the I'm dugout, sure. so. Okay. I yeah. think that's a good. I think that's a good appointment from Villa. Yeah, for me. It, it's one of those, isn't it? It could work quite well. Yeah. Or it could go. Yeah. Tits up it could be another. Yeah. It could be another yeah. like Rafa Benitez, who could win something at one club and win nothing at the next. Yeah, and, exactly. Yeah. You know, he didn't. He didn't really. I don't know, rip up the turf at Arsenal, did he? To be fair. Not really, no. You know, he got no. sacked so, this season. Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know what he's done with it. Is it Sevilla, is that? Or yeah, Villarreal. Villarreal. Villarreal? Yeah, I think he's he's always done well there and he's done well in the Europa League, hasn't he? Yeah. He's won it a couple of times. I think he's won it against United. Yeah, that's what yeah, yeah, Villarreal right. win it every year. I know it's bizarre, isn't <laughs> it? Put everything to it. It's, one, it's, one of them, it's one of them clubs that just win. The, the Europa League or whatever they do. They, they and Sevilla as well. Yeah. That second that second tier cup, Sevilla and Villarreal every year. They sort of own it, don't one of them. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. so in that he's done well, but you know it's his natural language, it's natural team for yeah. him. Yeah. So that would probably be a lot to do with it as well. Mm. Over here, clearly, wasn't quite as you know impressive, was he? But, but it's but, one of them. He could, he could do all right. He's an experienced guy, isn't he? Yes. and he has one thing. So mm. you know, he's experienced in the Premier League as well. He's experienced in the Premier League. Yeah. Of course, well, you can't do any worse than Stephen Gerrard. And I think reading yeah. between the lines, you know, once Gerrard got binned off, didn't they beat someone four 0 the week before? Was it yeah, uh, Bournemouth? Did. Brentford. 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 Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they scored like Danny Ings scored after about a second. He scored, yeah. a yeah. 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 scored a three goals in the first yeah. twenty minutes. Yeah. Whatever it was. Yeah. Yeah. So we might not be Danny Ings who scored the first, but he was. Uh, was Leon Bailey? It was. Bailey. Yeah. yeah. He won't pick Bailey if you remember. Yeah. yeah. Gerard won't pick him. Yeah. He scored in the first minute. Some, scored first minute. Yeah. First game he starts. I know, yeah. I know. There you go. But again, I, know, I think Gerard was out of his depth at Villa. His next move will be really interesting as to where because he won't want to go to like maybe a championship club, will he? So who's going to want him as manager? Yeah, I think someone it's like Derby, well. Preston, uh, even a Norwich might so I'd take a gamble on it. Maybe, him, yeah, you know, somewhere like that. But um, it's whether he'd want to go there as well, though, isn't it? Whether he's, you know, he's if he wants great, to start lower down again, great player. Yeah, not so much a great manager. You can't be choosing if he wants to get back into management. He's got he's got to take what's on the table. Yeah, as opposed to sort of like, well, you know, I'm too big to that. I want to be the. I want to replace Klopp at Liverpool. Yeah, ain't, ain't happening. No chance now. No, 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 absolutely no chance. It's like I'm part of me. He's struggling wherever he goes. You know, since he left Derby, he struggled at Chelsea. You know, you can't always bring that that hero back that was, you know, a club hero as a player. Well, let's say it was, you know, it, it's always true. Isn't it? Great players don't yeah, always make like great managers. Like so like just, 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 just for you know.
Who? Go to the goal. Yeah, the goal. The goal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's the, the Newcastle and the play we've, all, we've been talking about since the start of the season, even last season we were talking about him. Yeah. Amaron. Yeah, he's been on fire this season, yeah. hasn't he? Really yeah. has. I mean, some of the goals he's scored as well. It's not just tappings. You know, he's got really yeah. quality goals and again. Yeah. Since um, uh, Jack Grealish said, take Bernardo, was it Bernardo he said take, take off? Take off Mahrez. Mahrez, that's right, he's playing like Almiron. Yeah, right, and he's uh, taking a piss, and I think now if Almiron does have a bad game, I hope he goes on the TV and says, I played real shit today, like Jack Grealish. Yeah, I really <laughs> wanted to say that. I really wanted to say that. <laughs> be a great call, yeah. that one, yeah. yeah, to be yeah. fair. Yeah, it's uh, well, really good. But great result for him, yeah, four, got, can't argue with that. Nah, I mean, you know, they're playing, they're playing really well at the moment. I think they're in the top four at the moment as well, aren't they? They yeah, are fourth yeah. and earth. Uh, they were, they were pushing we're fifth, we're fifth, third, uh, no, Spurs are third. Spurs, Spurs, Spurs are third, okay. sorry, down to Newcastle and it's us. And we've yeah. got a game in hand over them too. Spurs got yeah. a very, uh, Spurs went all Spurs, he didn't even the week. In the yeah, Champions League. Back, though, uh, again, yeah. I thought you were talking about Bournemouth then. In the Champions no, League. was it one where they got the um, VAR? That's right, yeah, last minute. Last minute. Injury yeah. time. Injury oh, time that's a shame. Wasn't it? Yeah. That's a shame <laughs> for the Spurs fans. Eh? I remember being at City, right? And uh, Spurs got, were you with me? When we well, scored, yeah, the Champions League final, just the Champions League semi final, quarter finals, quarter final, yeah, yeah. Sterling, and yeah. Sterling scored, and um, oh no, Aguero scored, wasn't he? Something Sterling was offside. No, Sterling it was like built the build up to it. No, Sterling scored, scored. Sterling right. scored right. Yeah. but he was offside about a couple of minutes before. Yeah. A pair of us went tumbling down, what four rows of seats, like yeah, cut knees, cut elbows. <laughs> you know, my bad day was cut. And then VAR ruled it out. Yeah. And all Spurs fans were singing, VAR, my lord, VAR. <laughs> and then I saw that midweek and I was like, oh dear. <laughs> yeah, I'll get it. Next and they were all going mental. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Proper mental. Yeah. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, VAR ruled out. Uh, yeah. Which was, it was, you know, it's, it's offside. It, 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 was, it, it was tight. Was very it was, tight. It was yeah. very, very tight, but it was offside. You know, it, yeah. was, um, it was ahead of the ball. So it's so. a sickener, isn't it? Mm. It really is. But, uh, but yeah, just saying in the league match, so came back well this week, to be fair, against Bournemouth. And Bournemouth, 2 0 down. Under Gary O'Neill, I hope Gary O'Neill, has, he, has he been appointed full time, Gary O'Neill? Not that I know of, I'm but sure. I'm not too sure. I hope he gets it, because not only is he a top guy, but he's also very astute, he's an astute manager. Yeah. He's very uh, tactically aware, he, he speaks well, and they got they got done by um, by handball um, in the week before, the week, the week yeah, before game. West Ham. West Ham. Yeah. yeah, they got proper done, I think. Because I'll tell you what, how that West Ham goal was not on ball, I'll never know. I know. The guy punched it like that. He went like that. And I'm like, it's on ball. It's the inconsistency again, isn't yeah. it? It's yeah. absolutely incredible. Some what are they looking at? So they're saying they're saying, yeah, he handballed it, but then yeah. it went to another player and it's and now it's phase two and he knocked it in. And I'm yeah. like, it's not. I don't know. There's no nowhere nowhere not open. anyone that knows football knows that was on ball. Yeah. Apart from the referees. Yeah, the pundits were saying at half time that they don't even think it was handball. It was handball. Well. I don't give a shit what anyone says. That was hundred percent handball. And Gary O'Neill knew. He, he, and he went off his, he went off his nut. Yeah, and rightly so. And then they got West Ham got the the, um, the second goal to make it. It was a penalty that wasn't really handball. Yeah, well from again, from a ball if one was handball, the other one's not. If one's not handball, that's not handball. Mm. Inconsistencies again, in it. You know, every single week, and you know, yeah. we think VAR is going to sort everything out, but you know, it's just still someone else's opinion. opinion. It, it, well, that's what it boils down to. A dumb ref. VAR, the they're just looking at pictures again, but it's, it's still down to a human yeah, being yeah. making a decision yeah. one way or the other. Yeah. It's the inconsistency. You see some decision, you think, well, if that's a foul, then that one's got to be as well. Yeah. But then in the same match, they don't give it. Yeah. And it's like, oh, you know. I mean, Arsenal, week, Arsenal charge back to the top of the, top of the table with a final win over Forest. Yeah, it's yeah, Forest away. I mean, beat Liverpool, beat Liverpool last week. At Leather this week, 5 0. Yeah, bizarre, isn't it? You know, absolutely but bizarre. Forest one of the teams you can put five or six past easy. Yeah, you know, I'll we'll probably put a team together out of our office. Forest are also one of those teams that I think play differently at their own ground. Like have that bit of support from the home fans. Yeah, I think yeah, it's, not, a harder, it's a harder match against Forest whether you're playing at home or away by far. Possibly. Yeah, yeah it's same, that same applies to everyone. Not, 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 you know, not everyone. Liverpool, I don't know. I don't know anymore. Well, Liverpool, Liverpool lost the game for three years at home. No, that was so. just Van Dijk. They lost against like they have lost. Yeah, it, I think they lost in February, March, did they or something? Okay. Sure, yeah, I'm really sure they'd, they'd lost them, but obviously Van Dyke wouldn't have been inside. Right, so right, right. I could be wrong on that though. So yeah. not too sure. But again, it's you know, it's you know, Forest. I just Forest are going down. I just can't see. Oh, it. I think so. Yeah, yeah. I can't see them keeping them. Yeah, up. it's going to be a tough ask for them. So yeah. many new players yeah. in that board. They don't seem to be gelling. They no. you expect by now getting to what dozen matches now. Yeah, it yeah. gives why people like that. I've seen him the other day playing. And it was, you know, he's, he misses like sitting on the volley four yards out and he's putting it wide. And I'm like, mate, you're a 50, 60 million yeah. pound player, whatever it was, you pay for him. Yeah, it's quite a lot of money for him. Yeah. You've got to hit the target. Yeah. You know, from there. And he's just like, you know, Lingard does a shot straight at the keeper. And I'm like, 
It's got to be you better, hasn't it? Yeah, you got you need more from that. Yeah, of course like, you do. Yeah, yeah. In Premier League, it's all right. The Champions League Championship, you might get you might get that goal. Yeah, you know, keep might go the wrong way or whatever it may be. You're not going to. Not in Premier League. You look at the team. You look at the commitment. You yeah. look at Ling, Lingard. What's it? One year contract. Yeah, and you think. You know, will these other players be going to think, you know, he's not going to be in and yeah. he's going to move on or something yeah. like that? Where's he going to go? I have no idea. He'll probably go somewhere for free again, won't he? Try and get another sign yeah. on for you somewhere. Yeah, maybe, maybe. maybe. But the, uh, what was the other one? Oh, Leicester v City. Um, it was the first half. Very straightforward. So it. Yeah. it was just it was embarrassing. I was uh, sat there a bit, got a bit embarrassed yeah. by how shit Leicester were. Just I'm defending like, at home. Yeah. yeah. Ten men behind the ball and I'm like, mate. You think at home you'd at least give it a go, wouldn't yeah. you? Because yeah. we've said before, you know, when teams just defend like that, in the end they're going to get bigger. Yeah. You know, so sometimes when teams go out, just give it a go. But the atmosphere, the know. atmosphere at the ground was like it was dead as well. It was like you know, their fans were just expecting the worst. Yeah, right mm -hmm. from the start. I mean, I know it was an early kick off, and it's you know, you, it's hard to get up for it unless you're out at like you know, what time do we leave eight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I suppose when a team's defending constantly as well, though, especially if you're at home, it's not going to get a well, crowd, is it? It's not going to get a crowd excited yeah. or anything, is it? No, so, no but you've, you got to, you've got to do, you know, they were just sat back and it was just constant, and then they got the break, and all the fans were cheering just for a break that went over the halfway line, and I'm like, nothing to cheer about. to grip onto, I suppose, like, you know, it's. Yeah, I'm going mental, mate. I'll be yelling. Right, yeah, yeah. arguing. At, at the same time, if we didn't got goal that just split the game was a free kick. And yeah. So they, they, I think they defended well, Leicester. If they, if they, if they didn't score that free kick, they ended that. a nil-nil draw. I understand that's that. a good result for them. I understand that's a good result for them as a nil-nil. But you're at home. Come out and give it have a go. As soon as we went one nil up, they come out and had a go, and they were probably the better team. Yeah. Last twenty minutes, they were probably the better team because they were chasing the but game. Then it's too late, then, isn't it? It's too late. You know, you yeah. think you do it from the start. Then we defended well. If you look at it from yeah. that point of view. I mean, you can you can see what they're doing teams like sometimes because obviously they don't want to get mm. cause City are perfectly capable of putting five, six, seven past you yeah. on the yeah. day without a doubt. Yeah. So I, yeah. I do get that, and I get where. Leicester are down at the bottom. They have got to look at the goal difference, even at this stage yeah, of the season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. so I do get it to a certain extent, but you yeah. know, you've got to be, you've got to give it a go to a certain yeah. extent. Because I mean, if you just sit back against teams like City, mm. they'll pick you apart, yeah. and eventually they'll score. We, we, were talk, we were talking about yeah. this the other day, and I don't know, I don't know what your opinion of it, but with, with City, for me, we were talking about Pep and how can we play certain ways and certain. You know, you look at everyone's moaning about Grealish. You know, he gets the ball, and rather than run at a defender that he used to do at Villa. He's kind of like turning back inside and passing it back again around the lines. Yeah. Right. And I was saying, it's a, with Pep, for me, it's a numbers game. He plays like that all the time. It's the same play. You get the ball. He's telling Grealish what to do. You get the ball. You don't go running at players to lose it. You're going to pass it back. And we're going to wear the team down. We're going to build up the field into the channels and build yeah. up that way to push forward. Eventually, we'll get a goal, which we did against Leicester. Yeah. Now, he'll win 27, 28, 29 games a season. Right, based on that format. Yeah. And then draw maybe six or seven and then, you know, um lose maybe two or three. Yeah. Right? But that'll win us the league. And which is proved. It doesn't work in cup competitions very well because it's a gamble. Because cup yeah, competitions you go one nil yeah. down or two nil down and you then you're done. And Palace yeah. kinda of figured that out. Palace figured that, that format out. Yeah. And they beat us last year and they beat they were two nil up this year. But they, you know, we we managed to get three goals yeah. back. But we will score sometimes we will score three, four, five, six, seven goals, whatever it may be. Yeah. But it's a numbers game. It doesn't change any format. Yeah. It's exactly the same we get every single week. Yeah. Consistency. We've chatted about Grealish, yeah. haven't we? Saying yeah. that he, he looks better when he's going to play yeah. players as well. Yeah. He did, I think he did it more against United. Yeah. Mares was like that. You know, well. he, was, he was doing really well against United. He seems to be just yeah. running at a little bit more. But that's his game, isn't yeah. it? But obviously, Pep likes him to play a different way, pass it a bit more, don't gamble so much on dribbling. Yeah. So, you know, it takes away from his game a little bit, I think. You know, he's a really good player, but the idea is don't lose the ball. Yeah, keep, absolutely. Keep possession. Keep, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that's a big yeah. part of it for Guardiola, yeah. isn't it? It's possession of the ball. But it's, it works for him because we're up at the top of the table. You know, it's, uh, yeah, on the bigger picture, you've got to say, you know, it does work. It just sometimes it's probably a bit frustrating, isn't it? Yeah. I guess. Yeah. Because uh, yeah. you want to see players, you know, you want to see flair players. Yeah. Let's say you come in and, you know, and do different things. And yeah, of course. Just, yeah, just yeah. a free kick every now and again. I mean, Haaland, Haaland is the only one that seems to be able to play his own his style of play. It's probably cemented that plays. style of play a bit more, though, hasn't it? Yeah. Through yeah. setting Haaland up and getting the ball to him, I suppose. Yeah. So. Because every time you get the ball to him, he's going to score pretty much. Yeah. You know, if he's in the six yard, eighteen yard box, wherever it may be, getting the ball at his feet, he's going to. He doesn't miss. And this is what I was saying about before about Sterling and Jesus. Someone did a video, um, which was on one of the social so, media platforms. It yeah. Passes. It was like it was half. It was half split screen, and it was the De Bruyne passes going into the box, uh, to Sterling and Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then the one's going to Haaland. Haaland bangs all his in. Yeah, Sterling and Jesus missed every single one. Yeah, and that's the difference. Yeah, 
Oh, I get that, mm. but, yeah, I, yeah. I think it's probably a bit thing, you could, they could probably could have put a video together of Jesus putting a few in the back of the net as well, maybe, but they're probably mm. picking and choosing a little bit. But, no, it's identical but, balls, but, it's yeah. the same balls yeah. I'm putting in. Yeah. So. But I do get what you mean, obviously you have yeah. miles more confidence in Harlem doing it without Absolutely. doubt. Absolutely, yeah. 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 Of course you'll put, that's why yeah. Sterling and Jesus aren't there anymore. Yeah. Because <laughs> <That's laughs> yeah. Guardiola's yeah. seen that and thinking, yeah, yeah you've been good, for a change, yeah. move them on and get someone that can do it, yeah. which is what you've got now. So United West Ham? Yeah. Go on, Mike, you can lead us on this one. Well, just a decent win, really. West Ham are getting a bit better this season now, aren't they? You know, at the start of the season, they were pretty bad, and yeah. we were thinking, is there something going on there? But they gradually got up the table yeah. and started playing a bit more like they normally do. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, we were good first half, especially. Yeah. Second half, West Ham came into it more. Uh, they had a couple of chances near the end. Yeah. Uh, De Gea made a couple of absolutely great saves. So, yeah, great. Do you yeah. think De Gea is going to be there next season? Uh, mm -hmm. You know what, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. It's a big question, because, obviously, he likes to play out from the back. Yeah. He wants someone like... An Edison or yeah. uh, Alison, without yeah. a doubt. Uh, but it's getting someone like that and how much you have to pay for it, whereas I think a strike is probably top priority for United yeah. next season. Yeah. But it's going to be a tough one. I don't know. It's a good question. I've got no idea. Mm. Is, it, is he out of contract in the summer? I think they might have a year extension right. option on him. Right. So, yeah, it's one of those. It's what's his space. Yeah. I'm really, really, really not sure. Yeah. I don't think he will, but you know, I'm not too sure. What do you think about De Gea not getting into the Spain squad? Uh, yeah, it's. Mental, that, but think. it is really, yeah, because I mean, he's on form as well, he's mm. pretty well at the moment. Yeah, but yeah. it's the way that they play as well, yeah, yeah. He can't, he's not as good with the ball at his feet as these other keepers that are in there. It's yeah. simple as that, yeah. And I think shot stopping is probably right up there, yeah, yeah. But you know, we just can't play with his feet as yeah. well, you know, which is fair enough. So, yeah. I've not seen enough of the other keepers to yeah. say they're miles better, to be honest. Well, one of the players in the Premier League is Reyes, yeah, yeah. Well, I think Kepper, 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 Oh, Danish guy, I keep forgetting his name. Ericsson. Ericsson. Mm -hmm. Yeah, great cross. Yeah, Everyone in Denmark is called Ericsson. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, cracking header by uh, Rashford, to be fair. The bullet header into the top yeah. of the net. 100th goal for the club. So, yeah, I'm not again, he, game, so I don't know. Yeah, yeah again, he's, like, he's looking better at the moment. He's, yeah. he's definitely got his form back and he's, he's, yeah. he's definitely got his attitude back now. He's miles better. Because all the kids are fed. No, that's it. They're, they're all, all right. Now, so, they're they're all all right. so he's quite happy now, so he doesn't have to do anything. But yeah, it's a solid. Solid win, really. Yeah. You know, defensively, and we were pretty good, so I was happy about that. Did you see so, when uh, that tackle when Skamaka put his foot up, went yeah. for the ball, high foot, and it hit Martin in the back yeah. of the head, and he was already on the other side. I know. <laughs> I know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oops, sorry, mate, yeah. Sorry, was already on a yellow card at the time, and he didn't even get a second yellow for no. it. I thought I was, I was like thinking it could be a straight red. It was incredible that he, he saved the straight red because he didn't have his studs and his, it was yeah. like a side in his boot. But he was really, I mean, he's, he basically kicked him in the head. Was he going for the ball or was he? The ball was quite long gone. Though. That's what saying. Was, was, yeah. I think he was probably going for the ball, but Martin yeah, just went in his head. Yeah. So I think. Any other time, I think you probably would have got a yellow. Right. I think, the referee I think anywhere thought, on the pitch, it's a yellow. I think right. it is, yeah. yeah so it's, see it, so in that right. sense, mm. I think it's a bit amazing that he didn't get a yellow card. Yeah. I don't think he was doing purpose, right. Smack. I think it was. I think he was generally going for a ball. To be fair, yeah. But I think you would still normally get a yellow card for it. Right. Yeah. Uh, it's definitely. A yellow so card. It, he definitely got away on there. Then I think not so long after he took you off and put yeah. If he wasn't on a yellow card, sorry, he would he would have got a yellow card. Yeah. So the fact yeah. that it could have it was for a red that he didn't get one. Yeah, probably didn't my favourite actually. Yeah, I think they, look, they look probably better with Antonio on there as well. Yeah, Antonio's a good player. Uh, he's not. He's not been yeah, he's quick, much, strong. He? He's not. Has he been injured? He's not. I think he has. I think he's, I think he's come injured. back from injury. Yeah, that's right. Because he, was, he was injured quite a lot last season. I think. Yeah, he was. Yeah. yeah. But then coming in. He's got dancing. He does, not he? Well, yeah. But yeah, solid win. Worked brilliant in the second half. But you know, we're passing the ball, keeping the ball well now, passing it around all right. So, you know, three points. That was the only thing I think at the moment. We're working progress. We're out with our son. But uh, yeah, so happy with the win, really. Three more points away from relegation. Hey, brilliant. <laughs> I've been a game in hand with third, so we're not doing too bad at all, I suppose, are we? So, you know. Yeah, you you got actually lose that game in hand. Yeah. Well, that's it, yeah, <laughs> no, you see, you see, you're coming Game in hand against us. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Palace uh, pulled out a win again, um, lost the yeah. week before. Uh, they got beat convincingly yeah, the week before. Everton, Everton, Everton beat them 3 0. Yeah, 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 it was a strange yeah. one, really, with Palace because he's looking pretty good at the moment. Yeah, aren't they? They, they, they always look solid at the back to me. He's yeah. another one that, you know, when they talk about the English centre halves, like Gouet mm. is his name, yeah. right? He pronounces his name,
But it's another good win for him. Southampton, another defeat. I think it's a close one, but I'm surprised he's still there. I know. I was gonna say, he's still hanging on in there. Yeah, well, I think they just really trust yeah. him. He's, he's been through a, quite a lot of bad patches at Southampton. He has. Kept yeah. he's, he's been the longest serving Southampton manager since like with Southampton with uh, what's his name, the manager? I can't remember his name. Ralph Hassan Hussle. Hassan Hussle. Yeah. yeah. I just think he's on borrowed time, and I think what what are they looking to achieve as a team? Exactly. Yeah. The, I is it just Premier League survival? I would guess this season. Yeah. I think he'd just stay in the Premier League, so I think they probably don't want to press the button yet because he's been down there before. He does know the Premier mm. League. He's obviously has been a, a decent manager. It just mm. depends whether the players are still playing for him. Yeah. Yeah, if they're not, like, then you've got to move on, haven't you? But who do you get? Not sure. Who do you get? Yeah. Who wants to say Hampton? They're just a consistently like 15th team, aren't they? Yeah, that's what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah. What, 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 what's, where's nothing. the ambition? Yeah, exactly. What are they looking for? You're looking for a cup run. Are they going to wait and look and see if he gets a cup run? See, he's like gets mid table and maybe a very good cup run, and the happy is a business to sort yeah. of say, you know what, we'll take 15th every year as long as we're in the Premier League, yeah. earning the money, and mm. then all. But what are the fans? But to be fair, that's, it's the only team I have a problem with their fans. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Why is that? Every time. Because they, they celebrate in nil nil like they've won yeah. a cup, and it bothers me. <laughs> yeah, and this time we battered them like, what score was it this time? 4 0. 4 0. Yeah. And I just went, see, see? I said, you have to watch that shit every week. You know, and I don't know. They call me all kinds of names back, but I'm fine with that. I fancy that. I'm all right with that. You know, but it's, it's only them. When you're yeah. celebrating a nil-nil, what what is your expect? Where's your ambition? Where's yeah. your expectation? It's not good, is it? If we draw nil-nil. I go away like it's a loss. Yeah. Even when I was a player, I go, well, I go away from that. Fucking boot the ball like, and ref and yeah. everything, and I'll be arguing with everyone on the way yeah. off. Nil-nil. If it's last game of the season, it's kept you up. Then you can do it. But I mean, apart yeah. from that, you know, you need to go for a window. But I'd just be like so angry if we got yeah. nil-nil against anyone. Even when you know we played out, we were in Dortmund the other day. Yeah. Probably pissed off that it was nil-nil. I bet you were. Oh, yeah. way. Yeah. You know, and like nothing. I'm sure they were yeah. trying to win though, weren't you? Like yeah. Southampton. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. Imagine yeah. Southampton probably just sitting back a lot of the they time, were. and they you were. know, yeah. not trying. Yeah. So yeah. that oh, do it even they, more. Southampton came out a little bit and played, didn't they? Because they got some decent players, Southampton. Yeah. You know, it's. Um, oh, yeah, still got some decent that, players. Losing that Brozier uh, to back, back to Chelsea and stuff like that was like a big loss for him. Because yeah, you've only got like Stretch Armstrong up front or whatever his name is, and Fetch Armstrong is the yeah, yeah. plays for him. I think it's two Armstrongs in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. Stuart, Stuart and like, Adam, I think. Yeah. And it's, they're, not, they're not goal scorers. Yeah, he was decent player, Brozier. He's, you yeah, put goal scorer out a bit as yeah. well. Goal scorer. Yeah. Yeah. Big and strong lad, yeah. Uh, so they came yeah, out drew with Arsenal last week, though, as well, didn't they? One all. To Hanson. Yeah, they did. And they know what? That goal scored. One of the best goals I've seen for once the, the build up to it was brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Armstrong. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. But yeah. the build up. To be fair, I'll say that back about Southampton fans. There's one lad that goes in the pub who's a Southampton fan. He's a lovely guy. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll take that back a little bit. He's the only one. The rest the only of you can fuck off. The guy that does our uh, Farrakh Simchers, he's a Southampton yeah, fan. Yeah, he's all fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we'll be watching this somehow. <laughs> Uh, Fulham, Fulham Everton 0-0 nil, nil. So this is what you expect that's got 0-0 nil, nil yeah that's all great right, it? yeah it was always going to be a I watched, I watched the first 10 minutes of it and I was like nah not like, was at the same time Fulham should have won yeah. Everton did have a shot on target for, Mitrovic had 11 shots or 10 shots really? like Mitrovic is yeah. a busy body and he's a proper yeah. busy striker oh, absolutely yeah he's only about 25 as well he's yeah, been yeah. about 9 years he's like 28 he must have been about 11 when he first comes to the Premier League yeah. I think he <laughs> I think he might have been a bit lucky to stay on as well he had one tackle I can't remember who he was on but he went in studs onto mm. the top of an ankle. Yeah, where, can be yeah, like that, Mitrovic. Yeah, 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 referee was, referee, referee yeah. was right there, but he gave me yellow card saying, yeah, well, I think he went for the ball. But mm. it's one of those, again, do it in slow motion, you think, red card yeah, all day yeah, long. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, you'd have to look yeah. at that, but yeah. uh, I think he's still maybe a bit lucky to stay on, but yeah. you know, got away with it. Again, didn't see you. I watched the first little bit. But he's one of those players that's got it in him as well, so people, referees might be a bit more... You're know, earning towards sending him off, maybe sometimes. Cause yeah, he's, there's been a few like that. Years, years, haven't they? There's been yeah. a few where the referee sort of like looks at him and thinks, "I'm, I'm watching you." Yeah. But the, the way Mitrovic plays is for me. I love him in the Premier League because he's he's just all out. He suits Fulham. Yeah. He's a Fulham Absolutely. player. Yeah. He doesn't hold back, does he? No. Yeah, he's a Fulham match, player. Yeah. If he went to Arsenal or he went to Liverpool, he wouldn't fit in the same way as he does at yeah. Fulham. He's an hundred percent Fulham player. Yeah, definitely. But he'll get, you know, he'll get twenty odd goals a season. Easy. I think he will this season now. I yeah. think there was a bit of doubt yeah. when he first came up because yeah. last season he had such smashing yeah. the championship. Yeah. And he didn't do it. In the, he didn't do it in the, in the Premier League. He last didn't. Time he was there. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm. But this season, I think he's doing a lot better, isn't he? He's got a few more goals. Mm. So uh, I think he'll, yeah, could be on for 15, 20 yeah. this season. I like him. I like him. Oh, I do. Yeah, I like, I like the way he plays. But yeah. like I say, for Fulham, I think he's yeah. just perfect for. Yeah, him. he is. Yeah, he's a good fit. And uh, last mm. game there is uh, Brentford Wolves. I want to, I want to talk to you about some about Wolves. Um, Diego Costa got sent off, didn't he? For oh, he did. Last yeah, game. he did. 
And yeah. it was it was Dago. Oh, I didn't know that. I mean, it was Dago on as well. Yeah, yeah. You headbutt someone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, Dago Costa. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah. Would have never thought. Would you sure you got the right guy? <laughs> no. Do you know from facts? <laughs> it's his first ever Premier League red card. What? No way. <laughs> yeah. oh, no chance. Uh, really? Yeah, I thought the same. Yeah, it's his first ever. Absolutely incredible. Jeez. But who did he headbutt? Oh, I don't know. Remember, it's one of the centre halves, aren't they? But it's not the the big guy that plays in the back. Yeah, the, the one that got. Yeah, did you see the one that got uh, Nunes sent off? Nunes sent. Nah, he played for uh, Palace. 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 Was it? Ah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was getting mixed yeah. up, but they're both yeah, Danish, I think they were, aren't they? Yeah, I think, I think it was. Right. In, I think it was injured yeah. time, wasn't it? It's on the injured time. No, it was last year. It was ninety-seven. Was it? I didn't watch the game, so I'm. I'm always. Was it Foster? Was it? No. no, oh, it was it was Ruben Neves. Neves, 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 Neves probably no doubt volley from like forty yards. Yeah, yeah, he only scores outside. Yeah, yeah, good player. Though. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, yeah, but yeah, it was like I think it was injury, 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 injury time. He just stuck his nut, a bit of a scuffle, and stuck his nut on him. He was like back to right. So, uh, <laughs> I think he might have got that. That's why. That's why. That's why. That's why he want Diego Costa back in the Premier League because that's that's what he's about, and that's you know he's. I can imagine you know. Can you imagine Diego Costa marking uh, Mitrovic? I was going to say, you imagine them two, I was going to say, can you imagine both in the same team? <laughs> Carnage, wouldn't it? Do you know what though, if you're a fan of that team, it'd be brilliant. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, you'd be yeah. there watching it. Like, you're just yeah, you'll have to, you, only have them, you only have the partnership every three games. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Can you imagine playing the game so you saw them two line up up front, you think, yeah. as a defender, you think, yeah. Yeah, well, gonna, gonna, what's going on here? The easiest thing to do though is getting there. If I played against them, the first yeah. the first minute I just elbow one right yeah. in the back of the Stand head. In the shoes. Corner comes over, bam, right in the back of the head. Then a kidney punch, yeah. and then a scrape down the back of the heel. And then when he turns around, he probably headbutt me in the first five minutes. Yeah, and then see, see you, mate. Well, that's yeah. probably what this guy was doing. I think yeah. he'd probably been to his ribs all that though, sort of thing. Yeah. But yeah. 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 Uh, the Wolves got a new manager yet? Yeah. Um, Not that I know of. I'm not sure, actually. Because there was one or two mooted, weren't there? Yeah, uh, who's, who's, doing, who's looking after the team? Oh, is it, what's his name? I'm not sure at the moment. Do you know, I think it's Steve Davis. Could be uh, rings a bell that I think yeah. about seeing him interviewed after the match. Yeah. I think the Postacoglu or something. I think he was booted, but he didn't want it. In the He's end. the Celtic manager, isn't he? Oh yeah. Oh, who am I thinking of then? Lapetegui. Oh, Lapetegui. Sorry, that's right. Spanish guy. Yeah, it was a yeah. Real or whatever he was. I think they wanted him, but I think he turned it down. I think yeah. he thought, why would I? Sort of thing. Uh, he's, he's, I'm not sure who they're going to go for. Now. He's going to come if Lapetegui comes in. You know, people like that. It's just he comes to me. I. He's one of them. He's a problem manager. I think. I don't think he's he's, he's like a cancer. For me, yeah, he's a problem, and I'm like, don't get him, get someone who suits the. I mean, what's the talks about Nuno Espirito Santo going back? There was talks on that, wasn't there? Yeah, mm. there was a talk. I can't remember the guy's name. I should have remembered it. I think it's an English guy that's been a manager. He's a manager somewhere, but he's Portuguese speaking as well. I think he wanted him as well, but I'm not sure if he's turned it down. Where's he now? I'd like to see him. I want the Porto manager in the Premier League. Yeah, he's crazy. He's crazy. He's another nutcase. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's bringing a lot of first that's what you want nutcases in the Premier League. Him and yeah. Conte on the side. Yeah. Yeah. Him, Conte, you, Pet. You think Klopp. someone like Wolves yeah. should like wake him up a bit? Get Mourinho Mike back. Get yeah. Mourinho back at Wolves. Yeah. He's yeah. another yeah. nutcase. Yeah. yeah. He's doing He's doing well at Roma, though, isn't he? Yeah, he, he is. But, well. but, but, you know, their pool of talent is diminished because it looks like they've got to go for Portuguese speaking again. Well, you've got to because everyone's Portuguese on the team. Exactly, yeah. So they haven't got as big a pool to go out as everyone else, sort of thing. That's Even their away kit looks like Portugal hooks. Yeah, I know, yeah, yeah. yeah. They definitely uh, styled it on that, haven't they? I think yes. the third kit looks like Portugal's away kit. <laughs> yeah. 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 So <laughs> I don't saying. think we've got a manager at the moment. Could be proved wrong there, but from Rafa, Rafa Benitez Sam might do well at Wolves. You know, pick, throwing names around. I'm just throwing names around here. They might yeah. you know, stand out. He's, he's, I don't think he's managing anywhere, is he, at the moment? Not that I know of. Rafa. Sean Dyke. Scotty Parker as well. Scotty though, Parker. Well. But uh, Parker won't see Wolves, I don't no. think. You want some Parker will do well at somewhere like Leicester? Yeah. Or do not a team like that who's struggling that might gonna do not refresh them. The other the other good manager to do at Wolves is um Thomas Frank from Renford. Mm, yeah. Thomas yeah, Tuchel if he wants to Thomas come Tuchel, back. He won't want to come yeah. there. Yeah, I think so Thomas Frank small. was mentioned that I think someone mentioned it oh, to yeah. Thomas Frank yeah. and he I think he, he just brushed it aside. Tuchel's not gonna come Tuchel's not gonna come back to go to Wolves. No, no he'd, he'd want like no, top four side if he wanted to come to the team. Mm. I think Tuchel would do it I think someone like Spurs will go for Tuchel or because um, he's not maybe be. Conte's not going to be there next season. He's one of those. He's, Conte's gone. I mean, they had, like I said, they had a good comeback again at the weekend, didn't he, against Bournemouth? But he, I don't know. The way he talks, he's I'm just language. Not, and he's yeah. not signing new contracts. No. For me, no. I think he might. He's I gone. think he's gone. I yeah, think he'll probably end up at yeah. Juve. Yeah. Uh, and I think but, even Klopp might walk away from Liverpool at the end of the season. Depends on how. Really? Depends on how they do the Champions League and the Cup competition. Big season for him, I think. Yeah. Definitely where they finish up in, yeah. in the Champions League, mm. without a doubt. Yeah, yeah I think yeah, absolutely. So Klopp might see Klopp go
uh, and drop down to like eighth, ninth in the league. At what's the new, you know, Newcastle could be looking yeah. for someone at the end of the season. They know, but Pal- he's, Palace, but you know, he's, although Palace are doing stuff, Vieira has been watched, hundred yeah, percent yeah. watched. You know, oh, will be, yeah, of yeah. course he will. Yeah, but again, he's doing well, isn't he? Yeah, Hassan Hootel. You know, he's a, this is the time now where you talk about managers and stuff like. That. I mean, the Forest managers just signed a new contract. <laughs> I know, I don't know why. Do you know, here's, here's, here's something for you, right? I know you know this because I've asked you the question. Do you know, um, do you know uh, when England won the Under-17s World Cup? Yeah. And uh, the, the captain that day was, um, the actual captain, I think, was, might have been Jaden Sancho for the, for the squad captain or whatever. Yeah. Or, it was someone like that anyway. And um, the captain for the day when we won the World Cup was a guy called... Um, uh, Labatidier, something like that. His yeah. name, Labatidier, Labatidier, something like that. Yeah. And, he, um, and I was watching City. I was watching Swansea against Cardiff last weekend. Yeah. And he plays for Swansea. Oh really? And I was like, that can't be the same Labatidier who used to play for City. Yeah. And was captain the England team, sort of yeah. thing. And I googled, it and it was. So it was like, unusual well, name. That, that, yeah. That's what I thought. Yeah. Like, that's the reason <laughs> I watched. That's the reason. But he didn't look like what I expected because he had his yeah. haircut. And um, but do you know, do you know who the manager was for the England team? Went the under 17s when we won the World Cup. Not Southgate, was it? No. Do you know? Southgate's never won anything. No, well, if that's it, I don't know. Uh, Eddie Howe? Eddie Howe. Eddie. Good guess. No, it wasn't Eddie Howe. Good guess. I'm not sure. Steve Cooper from uh, Forest. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> yeah. And not only that, we went, we, went two, we went 2 0 down against Spain. Yeah. And uh, do you know who scored the two goals for Spain? Oh, yeah, Diaz? No. No. Oh, that's what I said when you first asked Diaz. Brahim, Brahim Diaz. Brahim Diaz. Yeah, yeah. Who you meant Brahim yeah. Diaz. Yeah. Or did you mean Diaz from? No, Brahim, Brahim Diaz. Brahim, he's no. younger, isn't he? Yeah. No, it's not him. Sergio Gomez, who's the left back at City now. No, right. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. I told you last week. Wow. He's not a left back. He's not genuine. Yeah. I said we need yeah. a genuine left back. Yeah. And he went Gomez. I went. He's not a left back. And he scored two goals against England in that under seventeen. He'd been crying for a left back for a while, haven't you? Yeah. So Mendy might be back soon. Yeah. <laughs> Just keep your eye on that. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've been following the trial. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Right, okay. And it's uh, it's going in his favour. Is it? Yeah, right, okay. it is. It's, right. It seems like he's uh, he's been done. Right, okay. You know, I mate saw him working out, just working out in his gym. Oh yeah. Yeah. He just had he had a tag on his ankle. Uh, <laughs> maybe well, allegedly, we'll yeah. maybe skip over that for now anyway. Yeah. Maybe come back <laughs> soon. But, um, what's what's going on this weekend? Then we've got uh, Nick, couple pictures. Of, you've got Fulham at home. You have. No, you no, have. We have. We have. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We've got, <laughs> yeah. got Leeds, Bournemouth. Uh, Forest, Brentford, uh, Wolves, Brighton. I hope these are all the three o'clock games. Yeah, and then uh, Everton, Leicester at five thirty. <sighs> so that's not going to be uh, yeah, dead. Another dead that game. That Some, dead. Everton just had the five thirty game. Let's move on to Sunday. I think we like this one a bit more. Chelsea, Arsenal. Ooh, it's time. Then it's Villa against United. Ooh. Might have new manager in place then, so could well, be a tough one. You know, yeah, Southampton, yeah. Newcastle. So that'd be a big test. Yeah, that'd be a test. Uh, that. that might be his last game. West Ham, Palace. Could be close. Yeah, and then look at that. finished it off quite nicely. It's Tottenham against Liverpool. Whoa! So that's a, that's a decent score, day of football yeah, on Sunday. Sunday. And then forget Saturday. Yeah, go for yeah, Sunday. Sunday. We'll, we'll, we'll be at the game Saturday, Saturday anyway. We're so. at the game Saturday, so that's a right. Yeah. Off. And then uh, yeah, no. Then we've, got, uh, we've got we've got we've got matches. Four actually. home games in ten days. Four and ten. Wow. Have we? Yep. We play Fulham at home. Then we've got Sevilla at home tomorrow. Yeah. Then Fulham at home on Saturday. And then Wednesday we play Chelsea in the Carabao Cup. Yeah, I almost called it a cold Coca Cola cup. Then. <laughs> when was it called that? <laughs> Used to be a long didn't time it? ago. Yeah, yeah. milk cup. Uh, milk cup. Yeah, yeah. and then uh, we got Brentford the following week. Right. Yeah, Waterloo. I knew we didn't have wow. another away game till next year. There's no year. away game. Yeah, till after Christmas. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so we got wow. them just before Christmas. Leeds. I think we've got three away, one at home. I think next mm. year. Few. We've got Villa twice. Got them in the cup. Got them in the cup and in the league. Yeah. Got yeah. them coming up. Got a Sociedad on Thursday. Yeah. Uh, so obviously we need to win that by two goals to go through. I tell you what, mate. People talk about to go through as a top degree. You have to, be you to go to go through top the group, to top to go the group. The only one team, 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 team goes through. If you play the second, you're playing a playoff against one of the Champions oh, League right. ones that have been yeah, not changed oh, for yeah, so, uh, oh, so we need to win by yeah. two clear goals. Do you know what so. the mad thing is? Is uh, people talk and people slate. You know, you go City have got no fans, the stadium's empty, and they're all that kind of bollocks. And which don't bother me um, when people say it. Apart from people who say it to me, who are local to me, um, that don't go to the games themselves. Yeah, there's a few that are on like Facebook and stuff like that. But the amount of money. It's cost us in the last two weeks. I can imagine. To yeah. go to games. I mean, Dortmund. We went to Dortmund away. Three yeah. of us on a plane. Um, yeah. Went for a. Went with, they took us for dinner, City. And what we were looking like a sugar refinery or something. It was like oh, a factory. No, yeah. Like looking right out at a factory. Yeah. And I'm like, great news. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we picked this. So I think it's lovely. The restaurant, food is really nice. Food is yeah. really good, yeah. Yeah. Food But you said it's an industrial town, didn't you? Yeah, it's very industrial right. town, yeah. yeah. Um, but I mean, setting off at 5.30 in the morning and coming back at 5.30 the following morning, um, day, it's a long day, yeah. 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 But their cost, the cost of just what's gone into Leicester away, Dortmund away. Who did we play the week before? Brighton at home it was. I was away. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I didn't go that. You were away anyway. anyway. I was away yeah. away. Liverpool away. Um, mm. I didn't go that. You went, didn't you? I was away. Um, but then now you've got four home games on the, on the bounce. Yeah. In ten days. That's a lot. It's proper it's expensive. Money. Yeah, yeah, of course. And for people that say, you've got no fans, I'm like, mate, hey, I'll pay for you to go for you, to you. All you have to pay is the expense to get there, right? Get your drinks and food and then come home. Yeah. I'll pay for your ticket. The ticket's a cheap bit. Everything else that builds up to it, getting there, the whole tramp, it's so expensive. Yeah. Especially well, now they're leading up to Christmas. Of course, it's, kind yeah. Of stuff. Yeah. yeah, it's a day to do, isn't it? But yeah. you know, people don't realise, do they? Yeah. Or they don't understand. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, give someone a ticket, they probably still mm. won't go, would they? No, some people. No. So, you know, especially when it's pissing down with rain, freezing cold. Dark, exactly, yeah, yeah. Dark yeah. when you're setting off. Yeah, and then know. a lot of the time it's on telly anyway, you yeah. think. Yeah, I watched it in the own arm, I don't know, comfort the armchair or whatever. Yeah. But it's, uh, you know, fair play to the people that do go. Cool, I have massive yeah. respect. I have massive respect for fans that go that uh, serve to, to the away Same games. Here, yeah, yeah. You know, I watch them and I see people you know traveling around the world sometimes and traveling you know different places. Just fair play to them. You know, they're gonna yeah. go there and you know sing their heart out and uh, yeah. uh, enjoy a good time. And it's enjoyable, but you know it's it's a day do really, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. About it. So uh, yeah. fair, like I say, fair play to people do yeah. do it. Yeah. Just without them, the game would be completely different. Yeah, right? but they get so. they get they get dicks on things like the AR. You don't know when you're in the stadium. They don't tell That's you. A, you don't want to do it for you. Your... Penalty check, potential handball, and you're like, yeah. for which team? Yeah. It's, it's like four plays have gone end to end, and you're like, who's, for who? Yeah. Yeah, he just blows his whistle when the ref, when they yeah. like, the ball goes out of play, yeah. and then it's like, and then goes for like 10 minutes before a handball from 10 minutes before. Yeah, yeah. And you're like, I've like no idea which team's the handball for or against, yeah. sort of thing, and then on. It doesn't tell you. Yeah. I wish they just shortened the screens. I know. But look at it, you've got one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Good old Trafford and Anfield, you've got the two clubs. Yeah. The only two clubs yeah. without one. Yeah, yeah. I know, because it's bizarre. Mm. It really is. But, yeah. but anyway, in the future, yeah. maybe. But for the future. Yeah, but that's good. It's good. Uh, Covered pretty much everything there, didn't we? I think so, yeah. yeah. So uh, next one, well, all the European matches next week, as well as the European matches. Yeah, say. this week, and Wednesday. Next yeah. week. Yeah. So. And you can, uh, you can follow us on the European nights. We do some uh, vlogs, don't we, on the European yeah. nights? So uh, if we can be, if we can be asked filming, yeah, as exactly. we forget. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But what it is, it's hard because you're built up in the moment of, you know, go, go, the atmosphere, the away fans, the, you know, inter interaction with what we're doing. You know, your mates are there. Yeah. You're drinking beer, and then you're like, oh shit, we've done any yeah, If you're filming, you're not sort of quite getting it. No, you're not trying. You're sort of saying you're sort of not getting the atmosphere. You're always, you're always filming it when you're watching the game as well. You're not really into the game. As yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you get that. And yeah. where we sit, you know, obviously right next to the sort of away fans is. You got you got to be alert. Yeah, <laughs> you got to stay. You got, to be got too much time to abuse them. You got to be told. Yeah, you got to be filming yeah. anything. Yeah. I'm busy <laughs> abusing them. I'm busy abusing the ref. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, is what it is. Yeah. But yeah anyway, yeah. But uh, yeah, follow us on the uh, on the channel. Like and subscribe and all that good stuff. Don't forget. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.